alongside me is the winner. And, and Garrett, this is getting to be a, a regular occurrence for me speaking to you after you've won a race and a great scout with Mo Farah there. Thank you. Yeah, it uh, takes winning a race to get up here and talk to you. The truth always comes out. Welcome back to Run Junkie and welcome to 2016 where we're still running cross country. That's right, Mr. Garrett Heath wins Great Edinburgh over Mo Farah. That's his third straight year taking a victory here in Great Edinburgh. First two years of 4K, this time an 8K. Now adding Mo Farah to his list of scalps, he is one of just six people to beat Farah, Bekele, and Kiprop in the last five years. Who are they? That list includes Mr. Galen Rupp, Bernard Lagat, Edwin Soy, Elliot Kipchoge, Mr. Augustine Choge, and of course, Garrett Heath. I wonder what their ages are. There's six athletes. Mm. You know what? Let's take their ages. I got an idea what we can do with those numbers. All right, we got the 1.4 billion right, right here. Winning ticket right here. All right, we got Elliot Kipchoge, Rupp, Heath, Choge. Lagat, all, all their the ages. Guys. They all beat three people. Farah, Bekele, and Kip. Kip Rap. Kip Rap. Here we go. We're going to. This is mine. No, man, I bought it. Nope. Just okay. remember, I bought it. I was the one who bought it. It came out of my wallet. And on the ladies' side, Miss Kate Avery, back to her usual form, wins a cross country race. Last time we saw her win a cross country race, NCAAs. But the surprise, the surprise of that meet was Mr. Scott Falbel, former Portland pilot, now running at NAZ Elite. He gets third behind Heath and Farah. Not only that, he had the lead with 800 meters to go, showing that he has some big cojones and proving that he is absolutely blessed. I appreciate you. All right, Gordon, you just got back from a trip out to Pennsylvania where you went to the Penn State Relay. That's right. I think the biggest highlight of that meet has to be Brandon Kidder. Dropping that 148, coming back a few hours later, 54 last 400 in that 1200 race. That's right, and but Kidder's going to have some competition this year because I was out in Akron as well that weekend, filmed the workout Wednesday with Mr. Clayton Murphy out at Akron with those mid-distance fellas. They did a nice little workout. I also went to Pitt, got some Bryson Spratling action, the 400 meter runners, getting some fast uh, 200s, 150s action, and then Penn State. We went bowling. So Lincoln, what's going down this weekend live on Flow? Well, you know it's the UW preview, the first of tons of action from out in Seattle this entire indoor season. But last year, we had NOP, we had Bowerman, we had all sorts of craziness. I think Ryan Bailey even dropped a fast 60. Who knows what's going down because we're filming this on a Monday, but we don't know the entries yet. Maybe but we know so fast from the Portland area, Oregon's gonna be there. Yeah, maybe Sean Penn shows up in El Chapo. You never know. It's you never know. Totally Anything could happen. You got your fix.